Right. <laughs> right. We're now walking to the spot, trying to get some new metal detecting content for you. Yeah. What the, how far have we got to walk, Leg? We've been walking for an hour. I've got to eat my lunch. He's laying down his little towel for his picnic. Oh. Here we go, everybody. One past twelve, you know what that means. What the hell? Look in here, Leggett. 500 grams of frozen vegetable, chickpeas, and some minestrone soup. <laughs> <laughs> All mixed up like the health addicts do. Yeah, yeah. I got a brand new combine harvester, I'll give you the key. What, leg it? Oh, look, I'm having a good time. I was over near them hay bales over there. Miller's been shouting. He's excited. Don't know why I started recording so early. It's gonna take me a while to get over there, boy. He's shouting. Miller. Yeah. Come and have a look what I've found, mate. Well, this hole I just dug and I picked out a fork. See this? A fork, but it's been very, very bent, so someone's done something with it. But come and have a look at the markings. Stainless steel career. Now, when career invaded Norfolk in 1917, they brought all their barbecue lovers with them. They were probably hired out that house, had a barbecue sitting there on the field, and somebody's obviously took a big old bite and broke this. Anyway, I filled in the soil. Look down there, Leggett. That was all, that's all filled in. And I'll put my headphones back on, start swinging again. And all of a sudden, beep, 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 over the same hole. Always check your hole because I've just found this. Come and have a look at this, Leggett. One penny from 1917. Can you see that? Crikey, you can see the date and everything. That's a beauty, isn't it? Blimey. There's George on the back as well. Now, I forgot to tell you, I've got a contact for 1917 one pennies. His name's Josh Lamb from Horning. Every time I find these, he always gives me a grand. So, I'm now going to go and see him. You hear that, Miller? Beep, beep, beep. Now, you know what that means. We've got to find these two. Wow. Look at that. What are they? As you can see, it's two pieces of wire fencing. You might ask what this stuff, this see-through stuff is around here. Well, it is the unmelted ice from the last ice age. Now, I spoke to Sid the Sloth, you know, ice age, and he reckons they used to cage up his family using these fences, and well, they froze over so they managed to escape. Now, this is the evidence we've been waiting for. I'm gonna do Sid the Sloth a huge favor. Dodgy Damien's Icelandic Ice Age ancestor was the one who caged them sloths up. Poor sloths they were. Now these two pieces are in the sun, I gotta to get to the police station before this ice melts. What are you doing, Miller? Eating again? Well, Leggett, it's my last mouthful. Now, there's two things you need for metal detecting in heat like this. The last mouthful with all them nutrients and factor 10 hundreds. You need to keep yourself pasty so everybody knows your metal detector. <laughs> what you got then, Leggett? I think I struck into some gold, Miller. Or should I say silver? I think I found an Egyptian silver plate. It's beautiful. Let me just turn it over and get the full dynamic on it. Oh, it's afraid Ben lost pilot. Now I know Fred Bentos, I used to go to high school with him and he talked like this. You wouldn't believe it, but the Fred Bentos pie factory was on this field here and this was the first pie lid ever made in the factory. I'm going to give him a call and see if he wants it back. What's he saying then, Leggett? Nah, he hasn't answered yet. I'm scared he's making one of his pies. Oh, hello, Frey. Yeah, it's Leggett from high school, eh, hey, right, bah? Yeah, long time, I know, mate, I know. Oi, don't, don't say anything out loud, all right? I think I found your first ever pilot in the field where the factory used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean you're on a catwalk? What do you mean you got a photo shoot in an hour? Your agent wants you off the phone? Oh, I've run Kate Moss, not Fred Bentos. Right, I'm just standing above this antique Viking shield I've just dug up. I'm standing above it now, six foot that is in size. What's that? Leg it, look at this beautiful antique stellar Artois can I found. What you got there? No. You're gonna know that's a nail now, Miller. What are you going on about? Well, everybody, look what I've just found. This goes beyond our knowledge. What on earth is that? What on earth is this? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of What on Earth is This? 
This includes you guys at home telling us what on earth this is. Right, Leggett? Right. It's about the time you got on our Instagram account, the Dippy Detectorist. We're about to put a picture on there of this. It's time for you to tell us what on earth you think that is. What's the first suggestion say, Miller? Well, Leggett. Dan, aka Crow Six Bar, says it is quite obviously part of the buckle from Goliath's sandal. Smashed to bits after little old Dave slung that rock at his face just outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, we it's to funny. Laugh at all. It's <laughs> funny. Slung that rock at his face just outside the Bell Hotel all them years ago. Hmm. Plausible. What's the second one say then, Leggett? Well, Gary, aka Scat Barrow's Hat, says. He definitely thinks it's a fossilised xenomorph. Give Signy Weaver a ring, she'll verify it for us. Apparently that's worth a grand. Doable. Elliot Rag, aka Raglington on Instagram says, That is an ancient c oh, I can't say that, that'd hurt. Stephen Robob Royale, aka Rusty Retrievers on Instagram, he reckons he's in shock about this one. It's definitely part of a Spitfire built in 1932-01, used in the well-documented war against the Mongolian midgets. Also doable. Xbox.controllers on Instagram says, I believe you will find that this is a very rare, got that bit right, short sword used by the two-fingered dwarf armies that used to roam Norfolk land. Worth about a grand. Hmm. Very doable. Neil, aka Hello Neil1229 on Instagram, reckons he's seen them before mounted in the wheels of Bodicea's chariot, designed to inflict terrible, terrible damage and injury to them Roman boys. Reckon it's worth about, you know, don't you, Neil? A grand. Chris, aka Daddy Mako on Instagram, says, That's one of them face huggers off aliens. Good job it's dead rusty and its legs have fell off. Or you'd be a goner. You might be on to something there. Finally, Martin, aka Steel7 on Instagram, reckons that could be a spearhead. He reckons we should have it clean, like properly, like. What do you reckon? Electrolysize it, put it in the drink? I reckon we should put it in our next video, Leggett. Our next electrolysis video and proper blitz it. That concludes our first episode of What on Earth Is This? Now, we're going to fine tune this item with some electrolysis in our next electrolysis video for anyone who's interested to really uncover the dirt. What do you reckon, Leggett? I reckon you're spot on with that suggestion, Miller. All of your suggestions on Instagram were so plausible, they were so accurate, we don't know which one to pick. So yeah, Tommy, stick that in the drink, I reckon. What on Earth Is This? Right, Leggett's been shouting again. Leggett. Miller. I found what I think looks like a chess piece. Let me take these off a minute. Right. Beepy beepy in the hole, let's have a look. It's covered in mud. Let me give us a bash, will we? Get all the mud out. Oh, that's not a chess piece, that's a... That's a caster wheel from a bed, I think. Oh, I know where this come from, Miller. I'll tell you. Right. You know the Frey Bentos factory was on this field. So was the Mattress Man's first factory. The wheels made in the Mattress Man's factory obviously were dumped here and they didn't need them anymore. This used to be an industrial estate, I assume. Mattress Man, Frey Bentos. What goes on next? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find out. Anyway, Frey Bentos used to supply pies to the Mattress Man, and that's why he's always bouncing up and down. You might ask Leggett, what are you going to do with that? That's useless. That's blooming useless. You can't use that for nothing. Well, I go mountain biking, I do. Up the mountains I go, and I fall off quite a lot, I do. My mountain biking helmet I wear, this has been needing something like this to put on the top. A little attachment like that, so when I next fall off, I'll go spinning down the road like that, I'll go flying up the mountain, I'll get there even quicker. Miller, what are you doing isolating yourself? You want the phone to your missus again? Leg, I'm on the phone to Sigourney Weaver's agent. She won't put me through to Sigourney Weaver. All right. Put me through. Gary Cass said I need to speak to Sigourney about this xenomorph. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's put me through now. That really pushed her, didn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hello, Sigourney. How you doing? All right, that's Miller. Yeah. Yeah, very well, thank you. Yeah, I did have a good weekend as well. That's cracking, yeah, yeah. Shame I didn't see you there, but yeah, it's one of them things, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just calling up about this xenomorph. 
Um, you reckon that's worth a grand? I'll just call it to confirm it, you know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that is worth a grand. Oh, brilliant news. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Wrong number. What are you doing down there, Leg? It was supposed to be metal detect. Oh, what's that? These are a set of woodwind pipes, but they're metal, so they're metal wind pipes. It's a musical instrument. They're really, really nice and they provide a lovely, lovely sound. I'll give you a, a demo, so to speak. That's good. They're probably good, Miller. Another beat, I reckon. Yeah, Leggy. Oh, they good. Oh, I've got to turn them off. Right, Leggett, come and have a look at this. I've found what's called as a poach. Part of a combine harvester. That's a really, really big old bit. And I found something else beginning with P. Come and have a look at this, Leggett. This is a po-tato. And I'm going to take it to my girlfriend later on. Cook her tea. Looks like you're going to be feasting tonight, Miller. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Taste of my... What's the matter, Miller? I hear some ancient histories on the scene, Leggett. What do you reckon? It's either Egypt, Persian or Tunisian, but come have a look at these, Miller. We've got two buttons for you today. One has the inscription Charles Jennings on it. The other one says Edge Best Ring. I had a little research and the Edge Best Ring one apparently is Victorian early 19th century, so that's really nice. I'm happy with that one. My best one though is Charles Jennings. They reckon online, because that has the black mark, or whatever you call it, Charles Jennings alone, it, sh it could be 18th century button, which that's my best find. Mag uh, no, I'm not magnet fishing, we're metal detecting today, aren't we? <laughs> Leg it, you ain't giving them a valuation. Come on, tell them what's where. Well, the smaller one, if you have a look at the back, it's not in the best condition. So I reckon I'll get 200 grand for that one. And this one, much better condition you can actually see the name on it probably 800 grand for that one you know how much that's gonna get me a thousand grands miller i bet you can't jump from that side of the hay bales to that side how much you want to bet leg it you know a grand So here we are, we're finished up metal detecting today on the field we've got permission for. Lovely stubble field, we've had a fantastic day of finding all sorts of artefacts. My favourite item was the so-called spearhead. Stay tuned for our electrolysis video to see how that turns out. What do you reckon, Leggett? I reckon that's been a lovely couple of days detecting. The sun's been kind to us and we have found some things. My favourite find has been the two, <laughs> the two buttons. That's enough detecting for one day. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Here we are, out in the field once more. I've got Vegan Maddie here. What up, guys? Vegan <laughs> <Maddie>. <laughs>